Hey guys, uh, Keith here. I wanted to jump on and just share some updates about Cutting Edge Ministry, uh, the ministry that we've been a part of for a number of years. And wanted to just share with you what the Lord has been up to lately and uh, how you might participate in that. So let's take a dive in. So if you guys don't know me already, I am Keith Seymour and I serve as the Executive Director for Cutting Edge Ministries. And you guys know my family and my wife, Caroline, my four boys, um, but many of you may not know that I actually came to Christ. I became a Christian through a public school campus ministry, similar to Cutting Edge Ministries, and pursued my youth ministry degree from CIU and, uh, in Columbia, South Carolina. And then I have 20 plus years of youth ministry experience with 16 of those being at McLean Bible Church. Uh, I got my Master's of Arts in Christian Leadership from Dallas Theological Seminary where I went and got my thesis and my master's on teenage evangelism. And all this to say is that this is not my first rodeo. I've been in youth ministry. This is what I've thought about and prayed through and labored in for the past 20 plus years. And in fact, when everybody remembers what they were doing in September of 2001 during 9-11, this is what Carolyn and I were doing. We were doing campus ministry in our public high school as high schoolers. And so I look a lot different here. Uh, let's mute the red circle. Caroline has not aged a single bit. Uh, since high school, and uh, but we were high school sweethearts then and been married now over 18 years. And so campus ministry has been part of our story from the beginning. Now, uh, we have led to this point of years of ministry, seeing what the Lord is doing in our area of Northern Virginia. Um, and right now, our goal is prayerfully for each of the 200,000 plus teenagers in our surrounding area uh, in Northern Virginia where we minister to hear the gospel from a friend in the next five years. And that's a very ambitious goal. And we're working and laboring towards accomplishing that as we partner with several different youth ministries. And I wanted to share what that looks like now. Uh, so our mission at Cutting Edge Ministry, ultimately our mission as Christians is to make disciples of all nations, but specifically for Cutting Edge Ministries and what we've been focused on is connecting students to Jesus and then to the local church. And so we partner with local churches to do that. And our message uh, that we communicate is ultimately the gospel of Jesus Christ. But more specifically, what we want to do is to demonstrate that ministry by teenagers and to teenagers is very strategic and valuable. And so our motive, ultimately, you know, we want to glorify God in all that we do and work towards his glory. But specifically, we desire to impact the next generation to know, own, and share the good news of Jesus Christ, the gospel. Now, our method is uh, that we provide a strategy uh, or a vehicle for local churches to reach more students with the gospel. And specifically, we focus our impact on equipping youth leaders to train student missionaries to lead gospel movements. And I'll unpack more what that means uh, and how that's really shifted um, as we've moved more online. So what makes us unique is Cutting Edge Ministries. We create video content and training resources that helps the local church train and mobilize student missionaries to start gospel movements in their schools. And I wanted to share with you Sarah. Uh, so Sarah wanted to reach her friends for Jesus uh, after becoming, becoming a Christian herself. She is a fairly new believer. She's come to Christ within the past year and she had a desire after becoming a Christian to show this love of Christ to other people that she cared deeply about, including her, her family. Now, the challenge was, though, that she didn't really know how to share the gospel in a very concise or comprehensive way that made a lot of sense. So she would try to reach out to her friends and talk to them, but she was just lacking in the know-how of actually sharing her faith with other people. So Sarah's youth leader actually hosted one of our trainings. This is actually a picture of the training on January 10th of 2024, earlier this year. And she attended our student missionary training where we cover these three aspects. We cover gospel urgency, where we talk about the why behind personal evangelism and the stats surrounding teenagers and their openness to share the gospel. We talk about how it's urgent to get the gospel to our friends uh, that don't know Jesus. We talk about gospel fluency, which is the, the nuts and bolts of having a gospel conversation. How do you actually bring up your faith with other people in a tactful, respectful way? And, uh, and then how do you actually share the good news of Jesus? What do you actually share when you're having a gospel conversation? And then how to ask questions about other people's faith that engage them in the conversation. And then we teach on the gospel strategy of launching a gospel movement or a gospel club in their uh, schools. And we talk about um, the edge revolution, which we've used 
in our cutting edge ministry resources for years. And so we go over the gospel strategy. So really we're training them on how to share the gospel. Well, Sarah is super pumped after training with us. And, uh, and so she cares a lot about her friend, Jennifer and Jennifer, um, is a first generation Christian now. So she actually listened to Sarah, her friend sharing the gospel compassionately, relentlessly, and relationally. And Jennifer ended up surrendering her life to Christ after Sarah was equipped to share the gospel. Now that would be in and of itself an amazing story. But here's where it gets really interesting. So Sarah led Jennifer to the Lord and then Jennifer's like, well, I know people that need to hear this too. And so Sarah was just like, well, just tell them what I told you. Like just, and, and she kind of gave her like a crash course on how to share the gospel. And Jennifer then shared with Hannah. And so Hannah has the same reaction. She is delighted to hear this and she ends up becoming a follower of Jesus and committing her life to Christ. And then Hannah is like, wait a second, like my boyfriend really needs to know about this. And so Jennifer's like, well, just share with him what I shared with you. And then Hannah goes and shares with her boyfriend, Jonathan. And all of this was within a matter of a few months of, let me go back here to Sarah attending our training right here in this very room. This is a live picture of the training that happened when Sarah was in there and goes to Jennifer and then Hannah and now with Jonathan. Now, just in short, we have Sarah who led her friend Jennifer to the Lord, Jennifer who led her friend Hannah to the Lord, and then Hannah led her boyfriend Jonathan to the Lord, all of whom which are walking with Jesus as a result of Sarah attending our student missionary training and learning how to share the gospel with her friends. Now, it doesn't even end there because we have a current spiritual family tree where Sarah had shared with Jennifer, Jennifer shared with Hannah, and Hannah not only shared with Jonathan, but also shared with Lindsay, who shared with Nicole. So in a span of months, we have Sarah, she became a spiritual parent to Jennifer, a spiritual grandparent to Hannah, and now a spiritual great-grandparent to Lindsay and Jonathan and Lauren, and now a spiritual great-great-grandparent to Nicole. All this within a span of a few months. So it's been contagious to see how the Lord is using this to multiply disciples among teenagers and how rapidly it's happening. So this has all just been since January of 2024. So again, what makes us unique and how we approach this is that we provide training resources for local youth leaders and youth pastors in churches to mobilize their students to reach their world at school, sports, uh, uh, in their um, neighborhoods, and their friend circles, their coworkers, all these different things that we've seen gospel movements happening among these teenagers that are being mobilized to share the gospel. Now, in 2023, we had an in-person approach in our training. So I personally trained 105 students where I'd visit their youth ministry, we would equip their students, we'd mobilize them. And this included our youth leaders network of 46 different churches, total for 105. So I couldn't replicate myself to be at the same place at the same time. So we really thought hard about how we can scale this growth to again, reach those 200,000 teenagers in our area in the next five years. And so we ended up shifting to a digital model where we train students uh, using a video uh, training method instead of just in-person training. And we had this ambitious goal to go from 105 students trained in 2023. And in 2024, we wanted to 10X that to a thousand students trained. Well, much to our surprise and the Lord's delight, we actually trained a thousand students in the first six months of 2024, even though it was our goal to do that by December of this year. And since then, we've even trained 126 more students over the summer. And then we've increased our youth leaders network from 46 churches all the way to 189 churches that we regular resource and have used our student missionary training. Now, this increase has directly been connected to our commitment to online organic video content. So we started a youth leader podcast, an online video podcast last October, so a year ago. We just hit our 52nd episode. We just filmed and record uh, even more since then. And, uh, and so we've done 52 straight weeks of, of posting these things online. We chop them up into smaller chunks to resource teenagers and youth leaders how to share the gospel, but our online content has reached over a half a million people across six different platforms in the past year. All that to say is what's next? Now that we have trained a thousand students, what does it look like for us to move forward? Like we have already hit the goal that we thought was way ambitious for our first year of scalability. 
And now our goal is to partner with a thousand churches to go from 189 churches to a thousand churches. And we want to train 10,000 student missionaries in this upcoming 24 and 25 school year. So it's already started. Schools are already back in session and we're seeing some cool things happen already. And so what we're trying to do more is uh, video production. So we want to have more youth leader training, more student testimonies recorded. We want to have more resources, uh, sharing of ideas between youth leaders that are getting in and working out this effectiveness in youth ministry. We want to have, again, more church partnerships and more student missionaries trained than ever before. But then we also want to get better at what we're doing. So optimizing content, outsourcing some content, uh, some tasks to, uh, to, to vendors and contractors. Uh, providing better user experience for training as students and youth leaders go through our training. We want to have increased follow-up with youth leaders using our training as well. And then later down the road, we want to add new things, live events for students, youth ministry leaders, coaching cohorts, which are already in the mix of developing long-term live events for youth leader. But what we really feel called to right now is to focus on doing more of what we know is working to scale and doing it even better. Now, this is where you might come in. So the need is great and the time is now because we're seeing such an urgency for getting the gospel to a hopeless and, uh, and frankly depressed teenage society where the uh, uh, since COVID we've had uh, an increasingly, I mean, an alarmingly increase of uh, mental health issues among teenagers. And we're seeing that the gospel is providing solutions to, uh, to the hope that these teenagers often lack. And so we're prayerfully asking the Lord to provide $205,000 uh, which I share with people in their shock based on the area that we live in and how many staff we have and the output that we're having. Our annual budget for this ministry is $205,000 a year. And that includes four staff. And uh, as we even expand into uh, having more uh, contractors and videos like video editing, um, we're gonna have um, yeah, an all-in budget of $205,000. Now, uh, that will help us to train 10,000 student missionaries and equip 1,000 youth leaders this upcoming year. And really the way that that breaks down, uh, if we've, as we've learned about fundraising, as we've learned about stability for nonprofits, uh, we need to have a combination of monthly uh, donors and also one-time or annual gifts. And, uh, and so the total monthly uh, thing that we're praying for is $8,200 a month. Um, and I can break that down to kind of show you what's needed. Um, and that's a thousand dollars for one person, maybe one person at 750 or two people at 500. And if you add all these up, there's 44 people that could carry that, that weight for us at $8,200 a month. And so what we're asking is for you to just pray and consider if you would join us in what we feel like the Lord has called us to do to scale, to reach even more teenagers, just like Sarah and her friends. Additionally, the annual partnerships that we need, um, uh, to, to make this dream a reality is totaling 106, uh, 500, 106,500 a year. And these are the denominations of uh, amounts that we would have to have to reach that total of 25 different gifts from these amounts. And if you add 106,5 to $8,200 a month, that equals our total budget of 205,000 or just under that. And so would you consider partnering with us financially to make training 10,000 student missionaries a reality? Now, I'm posting this video on Monday, October 7th, and we are praying. We've been praying and preparing. Uh, we actually have uh, several more videos coming out this week that will demonstrate uh, what the Lord is doing. And I wanted it to be this as like an introduction uh, of what we're trying to do through this virtual fundraising week that we're having for Cutting Edge Ministries. Now, our prayerful goal is that we would have 25,000 of our annual budget raised by the end of this week on Friday, uh, October 11th. And so from today, Monday, all the way through the 11th, we are praying that the Lord would provide 25. And the, the greatest thing about this already, there was a generous donor that wanted to support us by giving a matching gift of $10,000 for this week. And if you feel led to partner with us financially, whether it's a hundred dollars or 250, or maybe it's one of those thousand dollar gifts, or even if you wanted to support us monthly, uh, that would all be uh, matched up to $10,000 this week and, and doubled. So uh, that only apply to uh, from now until Friday on October 11th. 
Now, we're just asking, uh, we're, we're, I wanted to share this update with you guys, but asking if you would pray and consider uh, being a partner with us financially. And of course, praying, praying for us, to, for the Lord to provide in these ways to make this dream of reaching every teenager in our area with the gospel of Jesus Christ. So thank you so much for your time. And you can go to the link in this description to donate today, which is edgeclub.org slash donate. So thank you guys so much. We'll see you tomorrow.